So we ended the last episode with the 2-2 draw against Rapid VN and now we are back with the second leg of the round of 16 clash in the UEFA Conference League against Rapid VN. This time we are away from home and they will have the home advantage but hopefully our team will be good enough to get the win against them. And so after that we'll move on into this crazy fixture list in which we have Arsenal, we have Spurs, we have Man City and we'll also have some conference league matches to play in this month. So crazy business end of the season is coming up ahead and hopefully you guys are excited as much as I am. It's going to be an exciting journey. Hopefully we'll end up with the conference league trophy at the end of it because we need the trophy. Otherwise we won't qualify for any European competition. So this is the line that we'll be going for. Danny Ng starts, Corne, and then Bowen. And this is once again our 3-2-2-3. And I realized that Guardiola in real life has started to use this formation to add an extra midfielder to support Haaland who doesn't play that much in the midfield and doesn't drop, doesn't drop deep. So I think that Guardiola is copying my tactics. I think he sees my videos. Now we are on the attack with Corne. And just look at this position that we are keeping right here. Danny Ings who is pulled down and that's not a penalty. The ref says it's not a penalty but I thought that it was. But it doesn't matter because we go, we are going at them again. And what is that for a pass by Pablo Fornals. Come on. We need to make good use of this highlight. Here's Corne. Oh he couldn't get through. So it is going to be full time and extra time is also... Finished and now we're going into penalties to win this tie. The first pen is saved by Alfonso Ariola. Now Lucas Paqueta, what can he do? Please score Lucas Paqueta. Oh, no, he does not. Now we need to save this. We don't. Come on now. Score this, Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio for West Ham. Scores from the spot. Let's go. This is so tense. Come on. Ariola, save this one. And yes, he does. Now, can we score this one? Declan Rice. Declan Rice needs to score this. And he misses. That was a nice save. What kind of penalty shootout is this? Once again, a terrible penalty. Jared Bowen has a big chance to score and get us into the lead. And he does. Come on now. If we save this one, we win. Alphonse Ariola to save it. And yes, he does. We go through into the quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League after such a hard fought two legs against Rapid Vienna of all teams. We finally got the win and that was a very nice result for us getting the win moving into the next stage of the competition because it's a UEFA competition so we'll also get a lot of money for that. And we follow that up with a 2-1 win against Bournemouth, Lucas Paqueta and Danny Ings score. So Danny Ings has been performing very very well even in played matches and in sim matches if he is as good as he has been in this game in real life he will get West Ham to many good positions and we get a 2-1 loss against Fulham this time Danny Ings once again on the score sheet I mean Danny Ings is too good in sim games in FIFA if he plays like this in real life who knows how good West Ham will become and so this is a match against Spurs, a London derby that we are about to play. Currently we are 8th in the league and we have been 8th in the league for pretty much the entire season. Uh, that's not good enough for us. But anyways, now we need to focus on this match against this crazy front line with Dan Juma, Rodrigo and Son. And then they have Benjamin Pavard as well that they've signed. Apart from that, the regular Spurs 11. Somehow, Hugo Lloris is still playing for them and we have Danny Ings, Jared Bowen, Corne, Paqueta and we also have some very good players. A London derby at the London Stadium. Bring it on. I'm ready for it and hopefully my players are as well. Here's Dan Juma. And now he's on an amazing run. Dan Juma, what a pass that is. Ryan Sassinion. Still going. Come on, defend that. Thankfully we do. Here's Sassinio once again. Plays it into the middle. Defended well by Declan Rice. Falls for human Son. What a first time finish that was. What a first time finish that was by Son. 
What a goal that is from Tottenham Hotspur to take the lead against West Ham. And we have conceded a very nice goal. There's nothing we could have done about that. Just look at that. He was too quick to get on the ball. And then he just curled it past Areola for the finish. What a goal that is from Human Son. Now we are on the back foot. But we are going forward. We are into the box with Corne, Who has been so good in this new formation. Now Danny Ings who has also been so good for us. But we couldn't get the shot away that time. We are moving forward once again. Now we are keeping the ball nicely. Some tiki taka stuff right here. Declan Rice. On to Thomas Suchek. No it's Lucas Paqueta on the ball actually. He passes it forward. Danny Ings. What a pass that is now. And now... Here's Corne. He is fast enough and he scores. What a goal that is. Tiki Taka stuff at its finest. And then the pace from Maxwell Corne, who has been so good for us in this West Ham series so far. And he has proved his worth once again. His pace is too good. And we have equalized. Just look at this football that we're playing with my new formation. The revolutionary tactics, the 3 2 2 3. It's working wonders right here. Spinozola passes it forward. Danny Yings. Now Paqueta. Towards Danny Yings. Wonderful first touch. Wonderful second touch. And we take the lead. What a comeback. What a goal as well. Danny Yings. What a finish. What a control. What a player. He is an absolute beast. Now we pass it wide towards Kone. Who skips past the challenge. Wonderfully done. Into the middle. Now Yings once again. And that was well saved by Hugo Lloris. We are playing amazing football right here. And the home fans are loving it. Now here we go forward once again. Danny Yanks into the back of the net. It's too good. Tottenham Hotspur just cannot handle us at the moment. We are playing outstanding football. And it's 3-1 to West Ham right now. And now I'm gonna make some substitutions. Mikel Antonio comes on, Vlasic comes on, Ben Rama and Danilo and Ricardo Pereira, not Danilo Pereira. So these are the substitutions that I'm gonna be making because we are winning 3 1 and hopefully we do not concede many goals and throw away this lead. Now here's Rodrigo, now Emerson Royale, now Harry Kane. Brilliant run now this time from Rodrigo, but thankfully it was saved. We need to improve our defending a little bit. We are keeping the ball brilliantly once again. Benarama, Mikel Antonio sees the run of Maxwell Cornet. Wonderful chance, wonderful goal. My goodness me. How good is West Ham right now? It's absolutely sensational. And now it's a brace for our ringer, Maxwell Cornet. And the fans are loving this one. This is the best performance that I've had in this West Ham career mode series so far. And now here we go again with another counter-attacking opportunity. Cornet, who has been so good in this match. Can he seal his hat-trick? Cornet shoots, but that's going to be well wide. He was off balance. That's going to be a 4-1 win for us if we keep it this way. And that's going to be it. It is a 4-1 win for West Ham against Tottenham Hotspur. So is this a turnaround in our season? Hopefully. Just look at that. Seven shots. They only had two shots and we scored four goals from seven shots. That's absolutely amazing clinicality. And look at those stats that we have for our players. Danny Ings with 22 goals and six assists. He has been absolutely fantastic. And then Jared Bowen, who has also been so good in simmed games. For Fornals playing very well. Paqueta playing very well. I mean, now the team is gelling. And it's a beautiful sight to see as you saw in the last match. We were absolutely fantastic and now we have more good news. Finally we have a transfer offer for Tilo Keher. And this time it's from a Serie A club. It's from Atalanta who are named Bergamo Calcio in FIFA because they do not have the license. But now we are about to sell him for 13.3 million and they do accept that. So that's going to be very nice to see. And now... After that, now we need to focus on this match, the quarterfinal in the UEFA Conference League against Villarreal. Now, if you guys have seen my previous content, then you will know that against Villarreal, 
I have a very very good record every time I face them I absolutely smash them I do not know why I think it's because of their formation and their wide center backs but anyways I do not care about the reason all I care about is I have a very good record against them and hopefully this record will continue with this match with West Ham that I'm gonna play against them this is the lineup that we'll be going for and this is the same team that has played so well against Tottenham so hopefully we'll get another win and hopefully that wasn't that won't be proved to be a fluke the result against Tottenham but right now we are under attack there's the first shot and the first chance for Villarreal maybe I spoke too much before the game now let's see what we can do with the ball Klosterman passes it forward now Suchek on to Paqueta plays it wide towards Maxwell Cornet now Cornet what can he do back towards Paqueta here's Danny Yings and there's the shot but we couldn't score that was a nice chance for us we are going forward once again Paqueta on to Cornet Cornet gets past his full back into the middle now Danny Yings that's wonderfully blocked right there now they're on the attack come on do not concede this time oh my goodness what a chance that is and we give the ball away no we don't thankfully but now we do oh my goodness no there's the pass and there's the goal no way is he on side oh uh, yeah yeah he is i thought he would be offside but he's on and now we have conceded maybe i spoke a bit too much before the game and they heard it and they were like who the hell you think you're talking to bruv but we can still score some more goals Jared Bowen who is not as fast but he might still be able to get a chance and he does but it's gonna be well saved by the goalkeeper come on I still believe that we can get the goal and get back into this game we are playing very well Pablo Fornells on to Declan Rice now Paqueta chips it through for Danny Yings who gets to the ball but it's very well saved right there but we still get a chance and there's the goal that was brilliant control Paqueta's injured but we have a goal now I do not know what to feel should I celebrate the goal or should I be worried about this injury to Paqueta now who do we even bring on for Lucas Paqueta who headed it for an assist and then got injured so I'm gonna be making a substitution Vlasic comes in onto the wing and Bowen moves into the attacking midfield position hopefully that works and now we are once again going forward Lucas Paqueta now here's Jared Bowen nice chance for the Englishman but still no goal Klosterman passes it forward now Jared Bowen Bowen driving the ball forward what a pass that is towards Danny Yings he has players in the middle will go for it himself and yes he should do that because he has scored to take the lead for West Ham 2-1 I told you I never lose against Villarreal and the streak continues now let's try to humiliate them once more so I'm gonna be making three substitutions Kurt Zuma, Sufal and Ricardo Pereira come on and now it's time for me to go forward more and score as many goals as I can against them because that's what I love to do against Villarreal here's Vlasic onto Bowen this is brilliant football that we are playing just look at this passing now pass wide towards Maxwell Cornet Pablo Fornals Danny Yings he's onside yes he is another goal 3-1 right at half time no not half time it's full time actually at the last kick of the game we have scored to make it 3-1 what a brilliant performance that is a comeback against Spurs and a comeback against Villarreal two amazing matches and then once we score one goal we just go forward again and again and score more goals 11 shots to 4 a brilliant match in the conference league and I think this tie is already finished and I'll play the second leg with my second team and some more good news Paqueta's only out for five days which is very good to see and hear so he'll be back after one match hopefully he'll be back for the second leg but he'll have to miss the Premier League match that we play 
And so there it is after so long. For more than 4 months we have been trying to do this. Tito Keher is finally sold. We get a C on the transfer but I do not, do not care. And we get another win as well. It's good news after good news for us. A 3-1 win. Jared Bowen scoring twice to get us the win against Brighton in the Premier League. So this is consecutive 4 wins I think for us. Maybe 3. But that's amazing form from West Ham right now with this new formation. And now I'm going to be playing the highlights for this match with our second team. So Mikel Antonio, Danny Yings, Lanzini, Fornals and then Tilo Keher, Sufal, Emerson. Our entire second team plays this one. The second leg of the Europa Conference League round of 16 against Villarreal. And now we have a brilliant chance this time is Nikola Vlasic. But he is not strong enough and that's going to be well defended. Now we have another chance. Mikel Antonio. Brilliant scale. He's still going. Mikel Antonio and he scores. What a goal that is. What a run that was from Mikel Antonio. And now I'm going to be jumping to the result. In this match hopefully we won't concede 3 goals. And we don't. We actually score 3 goals. Lucas Paqueta getting on the score sheet. A 6-2 win. Against Villarreal on aggregate. I told you whenever I face them I humiliate them. So we are into the semi-finals now. I, I believe of the conference league. Or maybe it's the quarterfinals that we will be facing. Anyways. Currently we are 7th in the league. And we are about 6 points away from the top 5. Now we need to get a top 5 position. Or we at least need to get into the Europa League. By winning the Conference League. And if we win this match. We will go into the Conference League place. Go into 6th position. Which I think is the Conference League place. So. A business, the business end of the season will be very exciting. And we have some very average teams left in the Europa Conference League semi-finals. So we are in the semi-finals. And we have Stadren. Who are a decent team. And then we have Genk. And then the other team I have not even heard of. So I think that we will be able to win this conference league final which will be in the next two episodes. So if you're excited for the business end of the season, subscribe to the channel, give a like to the video and bye for now.